Hello, welcome to Michelle Says Again. I'm Michelle. Today is another installment of my collabathon for So Purple to End ALZ 22. And today I'm partnering with Robin from Robin's Love of Sewing. If you want to see what we've made, then please stay tuned. Okay, so if you're not already familiar with Robin's channel, I will link it in the description box below. But she is such a really pleasant, nice, sweet woman who does a lot of crafting videos. She does a lot of tutorial videos for those crafts. Um, she does some garments as well, but she seems to focus more on garments. And if you really love to make crafts and want to know how, then you should go and check out Robin's channel. Um, Robin graciously agreed to do the So Purple to End ALZ challenge with me, and she chose for us to make an apron, which I was actually really excited about. So I don't make a lot of crafts, but an apron to me is it's kind of that in between a craft and a garment. And because I've been cooking a little bit more because I'm on this weight loss or health journey, um, I have been wanting to make an apron. I had made a couple of aprons a couple of years ago for other people and I made them for my friend's children. Um, one was a much smaller child and I made it for her as a paint smock. The other one was an older child and she likes to cook. So I made her the Tasuti apron, which is a free pattern. So I already had that pattern and I knew that that's the one that I liked and I wanted to make it for myself. So that's the pattern that I chose. I'm not sure if, um, Robin is using the same pattern or not. We talked about it and then she thought she already had a pattern in her stash so she may be doing something different but I guess we'll find out together when this video is over. Um, okay so the Tasuti pattern is free. It is an easy download. It's easy to tape together. However, I feel like I'm gonna make more of these so I had it taped together already but it was kind of like bent up and torn a little bit. Um, so I decided I was putting in an order at PDF plotting for several other patterns they do have an AO version of this download. So I just sent it off with some of my others and had it printed on the bigger paper so that I could, so it had a little bit more longevity. So um, that's what I used. There are four pattern pieces to this pattern. There is the, the apron piece, which is just one piece for the front and it wraps around to the back. I didn't insert a line drawing. Here's a line drawing and here's the stock photo. So you can see how it looks made up the way it was intended. Um, so there are four pattern pieces. There is the, the, the wrap around apron piece. There's a front pocket. There's one piece for the straps, although there's two straps and there's a front bib uh, facing, front bib facing. Um, this pattern really is super easy to put together. Um, the instructions are very easy to follow. I didn't struggle with any of it. Um, in fact, when I made this the first time, I was just back into sewing and I didn't have any trouble then either. So this is definitely a very beginner friendly pattern. I made it in this purple and white gingham fabric. It's very lightweight. Um, you just need an apron to catch like food and stuff, right? So it doesn't need to be heavy. Um, I do want to make this again in a heavier fabric, but this is good for now. Typically, I like to color block mine. So um, the ones that I've made in the past, I'll see if I can find a picture. If I can, then I'll insert it here. But what I've done in the past is I've done the, um, the straps and the pocket in a different fabric than I did the apron piece. This one, I just decided to do it all in the same because um, I wasn't really feeling any of the other scrap fabrics that I had. I wasn't really feeling them as a combo with the gingham. Um, anyway, so you cut the pieces out and the very first thing you do is hem the bottom and then you hem the sides um, and it's just a quarter, it's like a, what do you call it, a baby hem because it's a quarter inch, then a quarter inch. It's two quarter inch folds. Does that make sense? Um, they do have you um, do the quarter inch basting stitch to help you fold it over first. And I do find that that gives a really clean finish. So I did take the time to do that. I don't always, sometimes I just turn it over myself as I'm sewing. Um, but I decided to go ahead and take the extra step and make it nice and clean. Then you attach the widest end of the strap to the outside 
of the apron. Oh, I've got strings hanging. Um, and then you, so you do that on both sides and then you hem the side and then you don't attach the front yet. And then you hem the inside of the strap, but you stop at the seam and you don't hem the armhole. You do baste and fold over the armhole, but you're not sewing it yet. Um, and then the next step is you cross over the straps, you attach them to the front, you know, right sides together to the front. Then you insert, then you attach the bib to the inside. Well, actually, you sandwich the bib on top of the strap. So it's right side of the bib to right side of the apron. And so the straps are in between at that stage. Then you flip the bib over to the wrong side. And then you hem the armholes. You stitch across the bib at the bottom to um, put it in place. And then you continue down the other side and voila, you're done. That's seriously it. So for the pocket, I did what I usually do and I lined it. So I cut out two pieces for the pocket. I, I right sides together, stitched all the way around. I left a little hole so I could turn it inside out. Um, and I make sure that that little hole is at the bottom so that when I top stitch the, the pocket on, it gets closed in. Before I sewed the pocket onto the apron, I added one of my ALZ labels that Lynn made last year, and we have some left. So if you're interested in picking um, one or more up, then just shoot me an email and I will get some mailed out. I do have a few that I need to mail out and I'm gonna work on that this weekend. Um, so yeah, I just added that label right there on the front. I will insert a little twirl here of mine um, you can see like this is one size, so I, because I am wider, it doesn't close all the way in the back, but I'm not cooking from the back, so that doesn't matter. Um, you, if you are smaller, then this could easily be like um, a piece of like a garment that you could wear over like a t-shirt and jeans or something and just have like a cute little accent going on. Um, that wouldn't really work um, just based on how open it is for me in the back. But I think this is really cute. It's super easy to make and I definitely wanna make some more in a heavier fabric. Um, yeah, I am, I'm pleased with how this came out. Um, have you ever made the Tasuti free apron? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I'd love to see your pictures. If you have made it, then tag me on Instagram and let me, uh, let me see what you've done. As usual, I am going to post all of the ALZ information in the description box below. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then please go and check out the intro video, which is linked in the description box. I talk about all of the collaborators that I'm working with. I talk about the prizes. And in the description box in this video, I will list all of the collaborators, what project we're working on, and what date our upload is. Yesterday's video was Sarah from Naughty Gnome Crafts, and we made hoodie dresses, which I'm wearing. And tomorrow's video is a fun one. Trish from Pinky's Farm and I are making hair towel wraps for when you want to dry your hair. So um, wherever you are, I hope the weather's amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <music>